Ontario, a province rich in natural and human resources. In fact, more than one third of all Canadians live and work in Ontario. To meet the needs of the people of Ontario, health care, education, housing, employment, and many more, is the difficult challenge faced by the government of Ontario. Hello, I'm Mike McManus, and I'd like to take a few minutes to talk to you about Ontario and you. In fact, this film has been produced to help you understand your role as a civil service employee and how it relates to the government. You know, as a member of Ontario Civil Service, you're working for the second largest employer in the province, second to none in its commitment to its employees and to its customers, the people of Ontario. Because although the government of Ontario doesn't manufacture anything, yet its responsibilities and its services directly affect more people than any industrial company in the province. In many ways, it's organized like one large corporation with numerous subsidiary divisions. You could compare the premier to the corporate chairman of the board and the cabinet ministers to the presidents of various divisions. But of course, the premier and the cabinet get their jobs through the political process. They're elected by the public. Employees of the government from the deputy ministers down are hired to do a variety of jobs. Like you, the majority of them are members of the Ontario Civil Service. Most government services and activities are conducted by various ministries on a province-wide basis. More than 60,000 full-time civil servants, plus several thousand employees in other categories, serve over 8 million Ontario taxpayers. What about you? How do you fit into this picture? As a civil service employee, what's your role? In many different ways and situations, individual civil service employees provide assistance and essential services to individual taxpayers, their customers. Yet these activities are the result of government planning and policy. And all of these undertakings are accountable to the public. All people working in the public service, elected or hired, are responsible to the public for their actions. They're bound by a pact, a kind of contract with Ontario taxpayers, accepted by their elected representatives to act responsibly on their behalf. The ministers are accountable directly to the taxpayers, in the political forum and through the media. Ministers are also held responsible for the actions of their civil service employees. This need for public accountability and reliability of services has created a special working agreement between civil service employees and the government. This agreement requires a commitment by employees to a few obligatory requirements. Although you may be represented by a union in most jobs, it is illegal for you to go on strike. That is, you can't withdraw from the public its only source to these services. And while you have the right to hold your own personal political opinions and beliefs, it is important that civil service employees remain nonpartisan. So you must remain publicly uninvolved in party politics. To uphold your position of public trust, you must avoid a conflict of interest. And you must never use government information for personal gain. Also, you should remember that your customers, the Ontario taxpayers, 
want to receive the same courteous, attentive service that you'd like to receive when you're a customer. And it's assumed that unless you're on vacation or ill, you will report for work. Right now, you may be wondering what benefits you get in exchange for your work in Ontario civil service. Well, there are many of them, and they're all outlined in your employee's information kit. Your salary rate is competitive with similar jobs in industry and business. The rate of pay is provided for the classification of the job you do. Salary scales are reviewed and revised on a regular basis. You're provided with an extensive benefits package, a complete allowance of statutory holidays and annual vacation, a medical and dental plan, life insurance, special leaves of absence, sickness, maternity, and so on, income protection insurance covering sickness and accident disability, and an excellent pension plan, a competitive package overall. But what about managers, you ask? What's the working relationship with them? Well, most of them have been promoted from within, from jobs like yours, so they understand your concerns. The government's personnel staffs are a group of people working full time on the needs of government employees. Pay policies, benefits, working conditions, training and staffing. And beyond this, they're concerned with many other civil service employee benefits, such as promotion based on merit, a competitive process open to all employees, job-related courses paid partly or completely by your ministry. These courses offer the opportunity of improving your current job skills or developing new skills. And since you have the freedom to compete for jobs in other ministries, this career training opens up a wide variety of challenging job opportunities. And to inform civil service staff of job openings and other interesting news, the government produces and distributes the employee publications Topical and Job Mark on a weekly basis. Well, there you have it. A quick look at the Ontario government and you. Obviously, in so short a time, we couldn't cover all there is to know about the working relationship between you and the government. There are still many other things to consider. Your employee information kit, your immediate supervisor, and personnel staff will provide you with any additional information that you desire. And we hope that this film has helped you better understand your role in Ontario's civil service. We believe if the needs of our employees are well served, will improve our ability to give effective and responsive service to our customers and employers, the people of Ontario. That's the reason the government of Ontario strives to be a good employer.